Turok and Dino Crisis are series that desperately need a reboot. So when I found out about the dinosaur third person shooter Exoprimal, I was pretty excited. In Exoprimal, you control mechs with some cool abilities to fight hordes of dinosaurs. The mechs here are called exosuits. There's quite a few to choose from. Some are DPS, some are tanks, and some are support. You are teaming up in groups of five to go through each match or stage. At the same time, you sort of compete against the enemy team of five. It's a bit of a hybrid between a player versus player and player versus evil. I do like the ability to switch between the different exosuits at any time. This means you're not really queuing for a particular role during matchmaking. Simply switch to either one depending on where you are in the stage and your group's needs. Now is this game worth it? I'll get right to the point. I wouldn't buy this game, but as a day one release on Xbox Game Pass, sure it's worth checking out if you already have Game Pass. I do like the fact that the game felt like something new, something I've never played before. The unique mix of player versus evil and player versus player is quite fun. The 10 different exosuits you choose from are also pretty good and interesting. They do get some time getting used to, but each one, the playstyle of each one is quite different. I will say though that they do seem unbalanced. Also the game overall just seems pretty bare bones. The storyline, I mean there is a storyline, but it's pretty lame. I found myself just skipping through the cutscenes. The first few matches I played I found Exoprimal to be quite fun, but it does get very repetitive after a while. This especially applies to the player versus evil part. All the dinosaur enemies seem to be very similar and after a while it just becomes too easy and repetitive to fight them. It's like the only difference between a raptor and a t-rex is the size and the bigger health bar. I guess things do spice up a bit towards the end of the match when you do get a chance to directly face off against the enemy team. The player versus player aspect does have a lot more variety to it. I do like the ability to directly control the dinosaurs at one point in the match, but even that can get quite repetitive because it only seems like there's just one attack you can do with the dinosaur. The different stages, I mean, they more or less feel the same. Yeah, I mean, there's different settings, different visuals to them, but the way you interact with them, it, it doesn't really feel like anything different. In terms of the performance, I want to first start with the older generation Xbox One. PlayStation 4 will perform in a similar way. The game visually looks horrible on Xbox One. It's really blurry. It looks to be running 720p at the highest. The frame rate on Xbox One is also unstable. The game tries to target 60 but hovers in the low 30s most of the time. There's even times where you'll see drops into the 20s. Capcom should have just locked it to 30 FPS for a smoother experience. And it's not just the gameplay that looks ugly on Xbox One. Even the cutscenes look a lot worse compared to the newer consoles. Exoprimal does look much better on the newer generation consoles. The Xbox Series S runs the game at dynamic 1440p, while the more powerful Xbox Series X and PlayStation 5 run it at dynamic 4K. All three consoles do target 60 FPS. The Series S though does have issues here and struggles to maintain a solid 60 FPS. In this case you can see it in the low 50s most of the time. It kind of stays there for a while. There's also instances where I did see drops into the 40s. The more powerful Series X console is better. It does maintain 60 FPS during most of the gameplay. In fact, the Series S seems to be the most stable out of all the consoles, even more stable than the PlayStation 5. The PS5 looks like the Series S in terms of graphics. It also maintains 60 FPS during most of the gameplay, but the PlayStation 5 does get some drop into the high 50s, as you can see right here. Overall though, the PS5 isn't bad. It's better than the Series S in terms of performance, but of course not as good as the Series X. So that's what you need to know about Exoprimal. If you have Xbox Game Pass, then for sure pick this one up and give it a shot, but I wouldn't recommend spending a whole $60 on this game. The game just seems too bare bones to command a full price tag. For the rest of the video, I have some more gameplay with the FPS counter shown. There's some gameplay on the Xbox One, the Series S, the Series X, and PlayStation 5.
Sixty percent complete. Aerial transfer will be initiated soon. <laughs> 